Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Jay. Uh, I'm really sorry. My camera skills have let me down again. This frame is going to be all over this video because I didn't realise until the very end that I'd left the autofocus on the output. I hadn't done a clean out on the camera. So I'm afraid it's there all the way through, um, except for the outro when I did realise my error and re reshot that bit. But I wanted to get you genuine reactions, so I left all of this in because this is me truly opening the box for the first time and assembling it for the first time. So uh, I'm really sorry, stick with it. I'll do better in the future. And today we're doing something a little bit different and I'm very excited. I've waited 20 years to do this. Um, I'll explain as we go. I've tried to keep it relatively secret through the thumbnail and the title. Um, but for those with a keen eye, um, you can see through the pixelation, you'll know what's coming. But I've waited 20 years to pick this up since 2001 when this game was released and I started seeing these particular items in gaming stores back in my youth. So let's not waste any more time. We're going to start opening some boxes and I'll explain exactly what this is as we go. So I'm going to start with this box, um, which I know exactly what's in here and it will be a dead giveaway when I open it, um, but this is the most boring part of the process. So let's get this one open. As I said, these three boxes have come from Germany. Two of them came very quickly um, and almost uh, without any kind of challenges or, or import problems. The third box, the big one down here, which you can't see quite on camera, but I will, I will show you in a moment, actually came um, through customs, took a long time to arrive. Um, it's bigger and heavier than most. And of course I had to pay import taxes as well as it coming in. Um, but there's a reason why I had to get this from Germany. You simply just don't see these around anymore. And um, there are very few of them left in circulation in good condition. I'm hoping, hoping to God, as I open this, that it is. I've, I've waited to record this and waited to open. I haven't checked any of the contents first. Uh, I'm desperately hoping that it's in good condition and that no damage has been done either in transport or by the customs guys who will have no doubt opened it up for a sneaky peek. So fingers crossed it's in good condition. There's a couple of small uh, paint marks stuff on it that I do know about anyway, but generally speaking, everything was fully intact. So let's get the box open and then I'll show you what we're talking about. And there we have it. There is our base. Now, if I show you that to camera, let me just try and bring that in a bit. That may immediately give away the rest of the video has in store for you. You can see there the logo uh, on a sticker from Metal Gear Solid 2, the Sons of Liberty, and another sticker for the company who made this object called Muckle Mannequins, um, based out of Germany. So there's a slight giveaway uh, as to what might be coming, but let's pop that down. I have wanted one of these for a long time, and um, when I had to explain to my wife what I wanted to spend the money that this cost me on, and I will tell you later exactly what it has cost, um, just in case anyone's interested. Um, this is a very unusual purchase for me. I don't usually spend this kind of money on any of my uh, sort of gaming memorabilia, but this was just something that I couldn't pass up. And I'll be very careful as I get all this out because I don't actually know how many pieces this comes in. Um, or how to assemble it. So we're going to work it out as we go along. <laughs> Got a nice big bar on it. There you can see. What is it? What is it? I'm sure many of you have guessed. Um, but let's carry on. So let's pop that somewhere very safe. Is this one? Oh, let's take this off first. Yeah. Okay. I've got some more leg bits, I think. Any ideas? Any ideas? Uh, let's pop that down there. <laughs> Look at the size of this. <laughs> wow, that is uh, that is sizable. Small bit of a mark there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Just there. Only small. Like I said, I, I know there is a little bit of wear and tear on this thing. It is over 20 years old. So. They will put a mannequin together though, so... It's going to be interesting. I'm sure by now, the keen gamers amongst you have guessed what this is. 
There is arm number two. I think it's gonna be massive. What have I done? What have I done? Some more pouches here. Put those up to camera. There you go. Wants to focus on my face. We'll try and hide it. <laughs> okay. Now we're on to the really big one. Um, let me just try and show you how big. Quite heavy this one. Very well taped. Uh, you can tell we've got a all the customs stuff here. So I don't know how much of this tape was the seller and how much of it is customs. What the hell is that? Oh, there's little bits of polystyrene everywhere. It's like fistfuls of this. Okay, we've got a, we've got a piece, we've got a piece. <laughs> we've got a leg. It's a big leg. I'm gonna have a lot of bubble wrap left after this. If anyone needs bubble wrap, um, you know, let me know. I had a mixture of measurements that I found online. Weight going from sort of like two meters, which I thought was quite tall, to more like 1.8 something. Now I'm 1.8 and a bit. Oh my God. Let's see how tall, tall our man is. Now if you haven't guessed by now, I'm gonna spoil it. It's, this is clearly, um, this is Solid Snake. Um, the protagonist uh, from Metal Gear Solid and the start of Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, one of my favorite game series ever, probably my favorite game series ever. And, um, you know, one of my favourite iterations of that game uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2. Look at that. It's up to my hip. Um, but this is not the one we need to attach to the base plate, so you're going to have to, like your other body parts, just pop down on the floor for a second. Oh, I've got no space in here. Um, so yes, this is, this is Solid Snake. Um, in his sneaking suit from the second game. Uh, wowzers, this is just so much mess. Another leg. Maybe that was the leg that goes. No, this this one. Let's turn you over. Oh my God. He's <sighs> got a travel mask on. <laughs> we turn that to the camera. <laughs> Look at that. This is transit mask. A lot of polystyrene on him. I'm gonna come out of there now. Wow, that is, that is, I mean, you can see by the smile, that is cool. That is cool. Uh, gonna have to defluff you. I feel it loose. But there we go. Big dude. Let's take your mask off. <laughs> oh dear. Let's, let's show you to the camera. Look. There he is. Ah, yeah. That's thumbnail territory that is. Um, the face actually on the pictures doesn't look that great, but actually in, in real life, I'm pretty pleased with that. One thing I have told a few people that know I'm getting this is that I thought his face was a bit derpy, but that I didn't mind. Actually, in the flesh, I don't think it's that bad. I've got a small mark there. Again, it's a shame it's right on your forehead. But I'm sure we'll be able to sort that out. We've got this little steel pole, which I believe grooves on there. Now he's even bloody heavier than he was before. Snake butt. <clears throat> Everybody knows the memes about snake butt. Uh, shit me, he's as tall as me everyone. I know you can't see it, uh, but you will. So worth mentioning while I'm doing this, um, I got this on eBay. Um, 
the seller, uh, I said, German guy, really lovely, um, really helpful. Patiently waited for me to sort the funding out for for the item. Uh, looks like it blows down, and um, has I will say very well, very well shipped it. Um, in terms of packaging, oh yes, there we go. You're done, my man. Holy snake, baby. <laughs> well, that is quite large. That's what she said. <laughs> um, we'll take a walk around it and get some, some better shots in a moment, but that, that is something else in terms of size. I need to have a little clean up first and then uh, I'll show you in a bit more detail. So there you have it, solid snake, fully built and pride of place in my office slash man cave slash games room slash whatever you want to call it. Um, really, really pleased with them. As I say, uh, I waited 20 years to get my hands on one of these. Um, I first saw these back in the day in what I would imagine would have been something like Game Station um, before they got sort of bought out and taken over. And like many kind of high street game stores now went to the wall. Um, these kind of figures were, were often seen around the stores. I've seen Halo and, and Lara Croft and others. But being a massive Metal Gear Solid fan and specifically of Solid Snake and the kind of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, the sneaking suit being been a classic for me. This was the one I'd always wanted and whenever I saw it in stores I always thought that's cool, I really want one. And, and ever since then I've on and off looked for them online, tried to find one um, and then very recently came across him. As I said I would share kind of costs and, and how I came about him so I actually got him on eBay um, from a German seller uh, and I paid I think it was 900-ish euros plus 150 euros to ship him and then another 50 pounds import tax. I think all in, in, in pounds sterling, it was somewhere in the region of about a thousand pounds, which is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. Um, by far and away the most kind of expensive thing I own in terms of collectibles, um, but it's something that I've wanted for so long. There's so few of them. I figure it's only gonna go up in value as more and more of these get damaged over time and, and get lost to damage and, and, and sort of lack of care. This one's in really good condition. There's a couple of points I'll show you and I'll have been showing you with B-roll as I go around him um, where potentially some small touch-ups with some paint might just cover up some of the issues. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not too worried about it. And I think because they're so minor and because of its age, I think maybe it adds a bit of character. So part of me doesn't really want to get rid of them. Um, but I'll see how I feel when I've lived with him for a little while. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where he'll finish in the office. He's, Kind of tucked in the corner now he's kind of obscuring a lot of the collection on the wall but he sits quite neatly next to my metal gear solid collection i'll do a quick pan over that for you as well just so you can uh, you can see if you've never seen it before um but yeah here he is a welcome addition to my collect collection um, and if you want to know more about him then please let me know down in the comments if you want to know more about any of my collection uh, or you want me to talk about it a bit more on the channel then please let me know i, I hadn't planned to I tend to stick to kind of tech and gaming content um, and I know these are collectibles in that genre but you know, I didn't know whether those would be of interest but if people do want to talk about any of the games or the collectibles that you can see um, then please let me know down in the comments and I'd be more than happy to do it. Do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content and if you want to follow my adventures with, with various video game collectibles and memorabilia and, and retro quest and the other series that I'll go on to do. It really does help. I am a small channel so please help me to grow it. Otherwise, I will leave you with uh, this smiling solid snake. You're not smiling. And I'll see you in the next one.